The addictive thirst of victory is what motivates everyone in our company each and every day, always pushing us to improve and discovering new ways to be faster. Therefore, MotoGP, the pinnacle of two-wheeled motorsport on asphalt, is the logical next step for KTM to take. Pure prototype racing, the forefront of technology and development. High stakes, big pressure. For motorcycling, this is the biggest show on earth. If you want to make a painting, you have an idea what you what you want to paint, and you you start somewhere. And with an engine, I think you always start at the also with an idea, and you start with the center. And the center is the crank drive, and then it grows from the inner to the outer. To develop an engine like this, uh, that's not so easy because everybody thinks development of an engine is just development of the performance. Okay, the engine has to perform well, but the engine has to last. The durability of the engine must be good and also the drivability of the engine must be good. from um, running the engine in terms of ignition and, um, and fueling, we have uh, fly-by-wire throttles. The, the software prevents the rear wheel spinning too much. Also, we can be preventative. Um, we can see how far the bike is leaning over. And once the ECU has measured that, then it can limit the amount of power going to the rear wheel. Particularly on this engine, I think the, the idea was actually to make a very simple engine. So simple, reliable and light. That's also like a weapon. It's real world and it's dangerous. So you have to make really sure that the endurance of the engine is okay and it lasts and nothing breaks. For sure it's the most difficult project we, we ever started and we should not uh, talk about success in 17. Uh, for me the first success is already today that we have the stuff together which can build a MotoGP bike on, on this great level. It's a very complex building so if you miss one link it's very difficult to be successful. Very important to find the right mix between being innovative, being new and being also conservative and 
reducing risks of doing something wrong. Sure, we are prepared now in, in many different uh, segments and, and uh, we can build a better motorcycle than in 2004 and I feel pretty confident to go this way now. Is, it is like a family because we're a small group of people and um, everyone helps out, everyone is supportive um, if you're part of a, a team. I mean the challenge in this, in this job is of course you work with so many different kind of people which all have the same target in a business where at the end only the success makes you happy. The others have a lot of experience which we have to catch up so we need to be very sure that what we're doing different, we're doing better. I'm sure the human factor we have behind all our teams, that's, that's definitely the key for successful racing. To have the great persons in the team and having this strong commitment from our company makes us a successful uh, racing factory.